In this video, we are going to be adding polynomials. So I'm going to go over two methods. And so method one is adding polynomials horizontally. And right now I have two polynomial expressions that are already in the horizontal form. And so the first step that I want you to do is to identify the like terms. And so I highlighted them in the same color. So 8y squared and negative 4y squared are going to be like terms. Negative 2y and 5y are going to be like terms. And then 1 and 9 are going to be like terms. So we're wanting, we want to group the like terms together. So that's what I did in the next step. And then, so I didn't change any signs of anything. All I did was I grouped them together. So I brought the negative 4y squared with the 8y squared. And I brought the 5y with the negative 2y. And then I put the 1 and 9 together. And so from here, now that they're grouped by like terms, you just want to add the coefficients. So you want to add 8 minus 4. So that's going to be 4y squared. And then you want to add negative 2 plus 5. That's going to give you 3y. And then just 1 plus 9 is going to equal 10, so plus 10. So that is going to be our final answer, 4y squared plus 3y plus 10. All right, we're going to use the same example, only this time we're going to use method 2. We're going to add vertically. So you decide which method's easiest for you. And so right now it's horizontal, so we want to make it vertical. So the first thing we want to do is line up the like terms. So once again, so I just rewrote my first polynomial expression at the top, and then the second one went at the bottom, so I lined them up by like terms. So 8y squared went with the negative 4y squared, the negative 2y went with the 5y, and the 1 went with the 9. And then we're going to add the coefficients like normal. So we do 8 minus 4, that's going to be 4y squared, and then we're going to do negative 2 plus 5, that's going to be plus 3y, and then plus 1 plus 9, which is 10. And so once again, that is our, our answer, 4y squared plus 3y plus 10. And just remember that when you are adding monomials, expressions that you don't change anything about the variables, you just add the coefficients.